impression there. Okay. And I'm just rolling these on to get the impression into the On this one again, like I remember I was telling you I wanted to roll some of this on here. Let's roll some of this on here. Hope what you guys are saying. Okay. Cool. And I'll bring this up to the camera so you guys can see it. Oh, this looks cool. I love it. This is just removing this off of here, moving the paint off onto here. Now look at this. This looks so cool. Let me get something on top of here before this dries out. And I'll show you, I'll show you this in just a second. It looks very, very cool. It put like an alligator skin looking on it or like, um, yeah, like alligator skin or snake skin. I'll show it to you in just a second, but let's get this off of here before it dries out which I've never had a problem with before. Oh, very cool. Okay, let me show you guys up close. Uh, loving this. Look at this. Isn't that, look at this, the like, like, alligator skin or snake skin that is what that placemat's doing love it let me show you this one so if you guys are looking for this placemat it's pieces that look like this there's a big piece of that placemat but it looks like a big flower when you first get it i wish i had more than one so i could have shown you what it looked like i've actually never seen the placemat again but i think i bought it around the holidays so hopefully since it's getting close to christmas i find that placemat again okay check this out this is what happened when i did when i just took okay after i rolled them out remember i just put this right on top of this page here as another layer look isn't that fabulous it's one of my i mean it's a dollar tree placemat it's one of my favorite like stencil like things for this jelly plate isn't it fabulous okay absolutely in love with this okay with both of these so cool so let me drop these on the ground to dry and because we're doing such thin layers, it doesn't take that much for them to dry. Now, I got some stuff left on the plate. Let's leave that. We're just going to keep building up textures. Let me get something to drink here. And I'm going to keep working with this similar palette. And I noticed that she does that. She doesn't just go crazy with all kinds of colors. She puts colors together that go together. And that's another key thing. Try to put colors that go together that are really cool together. Um, if you don't know cool colors, really cool colors to put together, just um, look at what other other people are doing. Like look at the color combinations I'm doing today. Notice color combinations when you go into stores um, and see what's going on. There's color com cool color combinations all around you all the time. Okay, so I just put a metallic. Folk Art Metallic Copper. Then I did a uh, Apple Barrel Turquoise. And then I'm going to do, this is a um, Yellow Ochre Fine Touch gift from Hobby Lobby. It's $2.99 only. But I actually got it probably $0.75 cents or something. 
and I seen them. They had two or three of them, and I was like, uh, yes, please. And I picked up quite a few. Okay, so let's put some more. I love to always add a little bit of gold of some sort. I don't want to use the champagne. I'm going to use a little bit of that. A little bit of metallic gold by Folk Art. You can get your paint. Um, is it Apple Barrel? Yeah, Apple Barrel, 50 cents at Walmart. Um, for all the metallics and stuff, I get from, um, this is Deco Arts. Um, champagne gold which is really pretty um, but all a lot of metallic ones are only a dollar something dollar eighty or whatever at Walmart so Walmart's a great place to get your paints I was gonna put some of this on that well I will there we go all right oh what are we doing okay this is our plan I'm trying to think what the heck am I doing I'm going to use some of my stamps this time. These here. We're going to use all different ones. I want to find that one I was talking to you guys about. Okay. It's, um, it's one that I got from Hobby Lobby and it's a textile stamp. And I couldn't get it to work. I was I couldn't get it to work on paper because it's supposed to work on fabric and paint. So, oh, here it is. Why it's down there. This is the textile stamp I was talking about. Isn't this fabulous? So I'm going to use it. I love this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. And Robin McClendon, she uses textile stamps, some really big ones. So I looked up textile stamps on, um, on eBay. Oh, and they have tons of them. So I have a bunch saved that I'm going to go back and purchase here so hopefully the next time I come on well actually it'll be a couple weeks because you know it'll take a it'll take a week or two for them to get to me after I order them okay so let's try this here right after that these are all and this are these are foam stamps and you guys I love how foam stamps react with paint or how they react with um, our inks they seem to be better than a rubber stamp than a clear stamp they're fabulous and I'm loving them with this paint and I kind of wiped the paint off right away so I don't ruin my stuff um, let's go with this one this is another one you would think that these kind of stamps these foam stamps aren't that great because um, they're not that expensive they're fabulous I absolutely love them And whether I'm using paint to stamp with or whether I'm using um, an ink pad, they're great on both. I wiped the paint off because I also want to still use these for um, on, with, on my ink pad. So I just want to make sure it stays good for my ink pad. Okay. So, just used all of these. I didn't use this one. This is another cool one. Throw those to the side. And I need some paper. Oh my god. Let me move these Oreos out of the way. Alright, let me get some different paper that I haven't used yet. We'll use the, these two. Let get on the plate before the plate dries out. Alright, so here we go. This is that parchment paper. And Robin, she always talks about um, t old typing paper. You can get like at thrift stores. Oh my God. Sorry guys, just a second. She always talks about typing paper that you can get at like thrift stores or garage sales. And it has cotton in it. Like 25% cotton. And she said that that stuff is called onion skin. And she said it's great paper. And what it is, it's old typing paper that has cotton in it. And they call it onion skin. So I definitely want to find some of that. So when I've been going to thrift stores, I've been looking for that. Sorry about that, you guys. That's twice. My jelly plate is like right in front of my, right in front of my um, 
tripod, so I kind of hit my tripod. This looks awesome. Love it. Isn't that cool? Obsessed. Doesn't that look like an old door, an old wall? Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I want to pick this up see what this is going to be about. And this right here, I love the way it came out. So I'm not even going to go over that with anything. I just like the way that is. I want to pick this stuff up here. See what we pick up. Oh, very cool. So now we can do something else cool over this. Let's see? So we got a good beginner of another page. So let's keep going. Okay. I'm gonna throw some purple down. Sorry, guys. You know, there's another combination that I wanted to do. Turquoise, um, brown, and, and this gold here. Okay, I'm going to put this, maybe I'll do this gold. Okay. I'll do this gold right now. Okay, sorry you guys. I'm thinking to myself there was something I wanted to do. Ooh, that's a little more than I wanted to put out. Okay. Let's put a little, little bit of gold there. I love little dots of gold because it just looks really cool. Okay. Let me get a baby wipe out from my hands. So what I'm showing you guys is I'm loving this like light layer technique where you don't go in like you know full throttle you go in and um, you get some light layers and what it does the light layers is the bomb that's the key in my opinion Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to, um, I'm trying to get, thinking of design what I want to do. Okay, I want to, I'm going to do half and half. Okay, I'm going to do, I, I have another one of these that I have, that I used, and it's half, um, that Dollar Tree doily. It's a half of one. So we're going to use this. sure that gets in there really good get our design going really good in there okay and then let's use oh let's go back to this so we'll combine these two together half of this really cool doily and this and then I'll put the little oh and then in between here I'll use this this one that I love wipe this off. Let me look at our time situation. Okay. And then let's just really make sure we got a nice impression everywhere. Okay. 
Okay. Now we want to go back over this, right? But let's go over like this one, over these book pages. Let's create something cool out of these book pages. This is leftover book pages that we have, which I would love to tear these up and put them in a background also. Take this and put this on a book page. In fact, we'll do two book pages because one book page isn't big enough. There we go. I'll put it over both of them. Hopefully I'm in frame. Hopefully you guys are seeing. Very cool. And then whatever's left on the bottom. This will go here too. Okay. And let me show you what it's done to this so far. Look how cool that is. Isn't that neat? Well, you guys can see that. See that right there? Those little, little reptile or snake looking pieces all throughout it. I love it. Okay, and we'll just leave that there because we'll keep adding to that. All right, we want to go back to this here. Oh, this is cool. Very cool. So remember, this is our second layer over that last one. And look what we've come up with. Isn't that cool? I love it. So you guys, at Hobby Lobby, they sell textile stamps. They're in the, the, they're in the section where they sell like t-shirts and uh, paint for fabric. Um, in the art section. They have these textile stamps. I want to go over there now and see what other ones they have. I haven't gone over there lately. I need to go over there. I want to check that out um, and see what other textile stamps they do have because you can get them for a good price. I mean, this one I think I picked it up for a dollar because they were on clearance. But, um, you know, they're probably, I think it was regularly like $10 and I got it for like a dollar or two, something like that. So you can use a coupon, you know. Oh, this just came out fabulous. Okay, I'm going to hit that. That's going to hit the ground. Um, go get yourself some, um, these doilies. These are in the kitchen section at, um, Hobby Law, at, uh, Dollar Tree. And so is this, if you see this placemat, this is a little bit of it. It looks like a big flower. It's this right here. And then it just keeps going around. It's about, it's big, you guys. It's a big placemat. Um, these foam stamps, Hobby Lobby, great, fabulous. Especially if you can get them on clearance. Okay, let me um, see what timing we have. Okay, we got 10 more minutes. So, there is a color combination that I wanted to try. Oh, it was that parchment color. Where is that at? Is this it? Yeah. That parchment there. This brown. And a little bit of gold. This color right here is on... I have these like statues of like turtle shells and I was noticing those colors the other day and I'm like, oh, that's pretty. I want to put that on the jelly plate. So I was trying to remember to do that. So this is me remembering. See how I got that color combination? That's what I'm saying. You can get color combinations anywhere. Always be looking out for color combinations that you like. Why over this one second? You guys have turquoise, have Half turquoise, half rust. Okay. And white over it. Okay. All right. What I was reading just now is I had seen um, 
Robin um, McClendon, she had done a certain color combination that I liked, and so I wrote it down. And I wanted to try it, and it was sitting over here. Ooh, I know something else I want to use. Okay. There we go. And I don't like to go over it too many times because, um, too, too, too many times because um, I want the colors to, you know, melt together, but also, you know, don't roll them out completely. This is called Punchinella. You get this on, um, I don't know what Robin was talking about, but it's when they have sequins, what's left over after the sequins. So they sell it. It's called Punchinella. P-U-N-C-H-E-L-L-A. I believe that's how you, how you um, spell it. And um, I really like it. It leaves a really cool texture, as you guys are going to see. Um, and what else do we want to do? Let's do that. And all right, let's mix this up in there. Let's mix up these uh, stamps. How cool would this be? All right, so we'll do that stamp. Oh, and why am I wiping? Why am I wiping these off instead of stamping it off? Okay, look what I just did onto that waste paper. Okay, I love the way this waste paper looks now. What the hell am I doing wiping it off instead of stamping it off? Oh my gosh, someone's probably yelling at me. I love that. I'm going to throw this to the ground. That will be used in the background. I love it. See, even my brain goes sometimes and I'm like, not even thinking. Okay. And let's stamp this off somewhere. Make sure that it's... This doesn't stamp off onto paper very well, but they're textile stamps, so... Um, oh, I haven't used this one. Let's use this one. Oh, cool. And we'll use it here above. Very cool. And then let's use this on this one. All right. And then just on this one side, just to get another little print off of it. We're going to go over the punchinella here just a little bit. Oh, look what the punchinella did. And I haven't even ripped it off yet. And whatever design's left, this is what it did to my waste paper. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? That's my waste paper. So I'm talking about you're creating beautiful things even on your waste paper. Again, another great, beautiful background. I want to do a whole punchinella page. All punchinella. That's fabulous. Okay, let's take this punch and Noah off of here. We'll lay that on here and see if we can't get some more design. Whatever's left over on here. Let's see if there's anything left over on it or not. No, there wasn't too much left on there. Okay, so let's get a piece of something cool. Oh, <clears throat> you know what I want to go on? I want to try that uh, paper towel from the gym. What the heck is it? Here it is. I've never used the paper towel from the gym. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't rip. It seems kind of thin, but... She's been doing also on the uh, tissue paper, on the shiny side of the tissue paper from Dollar Tree. And you think that that would rip. You guys, it's beautiful on the jelly plate. I'll have to do that sometime, too. All okay. 
Oh, this is, oh, love it. Oh, that's nice. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Let me show you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. It's hard to show this. Hopefully you guys can see it from there. Yeah, you can see it from there. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is really pretty. I can fold it a little bit. There we go. So you can see it up close. Oh, I love it. Look at that punchinella. That's gorgeous. I love the mix. Okay, you guys, I'm looking at my camera and it is about to go off, you guys. So I hope I showed you guys some techniques. I'm going to come back. Um, we're going to do some more um, jelly printing on all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm going to have another color palette that I'm going to use. We're going to jelly plate on all kinds of things. So, yeah, this whole jelly plating thing is just going to be like, I pretty much think, a regular thing. Okay, you guys? All right, you guys. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, love for you to do so. You can give this video a thumbs up. That'd be great. Any comments or questions, leave them below. Come visit me on Facebook and Instagram. And I'll be back tomorrow with more jelly uh, printing. And we'll use some bright colors. Okay? All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.